Question 7a, work out Hannah's heart rate four minutes after the start of the session. So we're given the function here, h of x. Um, I'm subbing in four for x, so x is standing for the time, and that will give me the heart rate after four minutes. So I'm basically solving for h of four here. So that's gonna give me, uh, let me just write out my function here, and I'll write in my value for x then. So subbing in uh, four, for x and when I evaluate that I'm getting h of 4 or her heart rate after 4 minutes which is giving me 162 beats per minute. So nothing too hard there. Part b find h, da, h dash of x that's asking me to find the derivative of h so let's just write out the original function it's good practice to write the original function first 2x cubed minus 28 and a half x squared uh, plus 105x plus 70. Differentiating that, I multiply the power down and I get uh, 6x reduced to power by 1, so 6x squared. Multiply 28 and a half by 2, I get 57x reduced to power by 1. And differentiating 105x is 105. Drop the constant then. So h dash of x is equal to 6x squared minus 57x plus 105. Part C, find h dash of 2 and explain what this value means in the context of Hannah's heart rate. So once again, I'm basically subbing in uh, 2 for x, but just make sure that you're subbing it into the derivative. So 6 bracket something squared minus 57 times my value for x. So that's giving me uh, 2, I'm subbing in here. So working that out, I get h dash of 2 to be 15. The next part of that question is asking us for an explanation to that. Um, don't forget that when you uh, find the derivative of something, you're finding its rate of change. So a couple of ways we can write this here. So it represents uh, the rate of change because that's what dy dx basically is. And in the context of this question, I'm just gonna say, i.e. Uh, the rate of our heart is changing with respect to time. And time in this question is in minutes. So it's basically the rate of change, um, how her heart rate is changing as time goes by. Looking at part D, the graph below shows y is equal to h of x. Find the least value and the greatest value of h of x. Use calculus in your solution, may use information from the graph above which is to scale so i'm sure a lot of people probably use the graph here i'm going to use a mix and match here first of all it's saying to use calculus to find the least and greatest thinking of least and greatest we're thinking max and min turning points here but as you look at the graph this is going to be my minimum turning point which we can use calculus to find and this is going to be my max turning point which again we'll use calculus to find but that's not that minimum point here is not actually going to be my lowest one on the graph the lowest point on the graph is actually going to be here um, you can see here that that's below the minimum turning point so they're trying to maybe catch us out there between using the minimum turning point and actually the lowest value from the graph so finding that one there at the lowest point first of all well, that's going to be at time zero here. It's going up to eight seconds. We're looking at time zero. So basically, I'm going to just uh, take my function from part uh, A, which is h of x equals uh, 2x cubed minus 28.5x squared plus 105x uh, plus 70. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sub in zero for x. I'm finding basically h of uh, zero. So two times nothing cubed minus 28 and a half times zero squared plus 105 times nothing plus 70. So this is going to give me uh, zero minus zero plus zero plus 70. So the lowest point or the least value is going to be at h of zero, which is 70. So that's my least value so that's my first one found that's my least value of h of x now i'm going to find the maximum 
value for h of x and i'm going to use calculus now for this and this is going to use my minimum and turning point from my calculus chapter and in order to find your minimum and maximum turning point so min max uh, is going to use calculus dy dx so first derivative and i let that equal to zero and i solve that for x and y then so i'm basically differentiating h of x so going from the top of page 16 there's the start of this question differentiating 2x cubed has given me 6x squared 28 and a half x squared differentiated gives you 57x i'm basically multiplying down the power and the 70 the constant is just dropped so 6x squared minus 57x plus 105 and to find max and min i'm going to let that equal to zero now and then i'm going to use my minus b formula to um, solve that so i'm going to my log tables taking down my x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and subbing that in i'm getting x is equal to minus minus 57 plus or minus the square root of minus 57 squared minus 4 times 6 times 105 okay so fairly large numbers here and I'm putting all that over 2 times a, which is 2 times 6. And when you evaluate that, I'm getting x is equal to 57 uh, plus or minus 27 all over 12. So I'm just going to bring it up here because I'm running out of space here now. So I need to do them both out for the plus and minus value. So x is equal to 57 plus 27 over 12 and x is equal to 57 minus 27 over 12. So that's giving me two values, x is equal to 2.5 and x is equal to 7. Sorry, I've just got them the wrong way around there. This one is 7 on my calculator and the negative one should be 2.5. So there are my two values for x. Coming back up to my picture though, let's just match these up with the max and min. So here you can clearly see that the seven would be around here. So that's gonna be my minimum. So you can sub both of them in if you want, but coming over here now looking at the x equal to 2.5, that would be more than likely this one. So that's my two and a half seconds. So my maximum is gonna be when x is equal to 2.5, but you can test both of these yourself, um, but trust it here, it'll be 2.5. Uh, so basically what we now need to do is we need to let x equals to 2.5 and sub it into my h of x, my original function. Um, so that's this function here. So I'm subbing it into this, h of x. So I'm getting h of 2.5, which is equal to uh, 2 times 2.5 cubed uh, minus 28.5, 2.5 squared plus 105 times 2.5 and then plus my 70 and when you work that out in your calculator you're getting h at 2.5 to be 185.625 so that's going to be my greatest value so a little bit of a trick maybe or trying to catch this out perhaps in that question in particularly in the least uh, value so my greatest 185.625 and my least was 70. Now again, if you put in x equals 7, you should get out uh, 94.5, but that's not the least value. The least value should be 70. Looking at part E, how long after the start of the session is Hannah's heart rate decreasing most quickly within the first eight minutes? Give your answer in minutes and seconds. So they've given us h of x there again. So where the point where her heart rate would be decreasing most quickly uh, given that this is a cubic function would be the point of inflection of the curve now the point of inflection is found from finding the second derivative and letting that equal to zero so i have my let's just go through all this again so i have my original function h of x which is 2x cubed minus 28 and a half x squared plus 105x plus 70. i found my first derivative earlier to be um, 6x squared minus 57x uh, plus 105 and i'm now going to differentiate for a second time so the second derivative which is 12x minus 57 and i'm now going to let that equal to zero for my point of inflection 
So letting my second derivative 12x minus 57 is equal to zero. Um, adding 57 to both sides, 12x is equal to 57, x is equal to 57 over 12, um, which is x equals to 19 over four. Now, if you wanna work in decimals, that's four and three quarters, 4.75. It's asking us to find um, how long after the start of the session. So I don't need to sub that in because it's not asking me to find the heart rate. So my answer there is um, 4.75 minutes. Now the question is asking us to put our answer in minutes and seconds. So that's giving me four minutes and 0.75 of a minute is three quarters of a minute, which is 45 seconds. And if you're doubtful, you just multiply 60 by 0 0.75. So four minutes and 45 seconds would be the time. Looking at F, uh, Bruno, Karen and Martha start a training session at the same time as Hannah. All of their heart rates are measured in beats per minute. Part one, for the first eight minutes of the session, Bruno's heart rate B of X is always 15 beats per minute more than Hannah's. Use this information to write B dash of X in terms of H dash of X. Okay, so Hannah's H dash of X, which we found earlier, is 6X squared minus 57X plus 105. Now it's telling us that um, Bruno's is 15 beats per minute more than this. So I'm now trying to find B dash of X. So basically all I have to do here is take Hannah's and add on the 15 extra beats. So plus 15. So my uh, Bruno's heart rate is going to be 6X squared minus 57X plus 120. Part two, for the first eight minutes of this session, Karen's heart rate K of X is always 10% less than Hannah's heart rate. So once again, I need Hannah's H of X, which is 6X squared minus 57X plus 105 found elsewhere. And I'm getting Karen's now, so K dash of X, and it's 10% less than Hannah's which would be 90% of Hannah's. So if something's 10% less, so 100 minus 10 is 90%. 90% as a decimal would be 0 0.9. So 90% times 6x squared minus 57x plus 105. So 10% less means it's 90% of it. Um, yeah, so 0 0.9 times Hannah's. Part G. Marta does each uh, exercise for a longer time than Hannah for X between zero and 10. Marta's heart rate is M of X, and it's given as M of X is equal to H times 0 0.8 X. Use H of X to write M of X in the following form. Okay, so look at the first part here. We have H of 0 0.8 X. Now, we know what the value of h of x. We know the value of h of x previously is 2x cubed minus 28x squared plus 105x plus 70. So if I'm trying to find h 0.8x, I'm basically subbing in 0.8x for x, if that makes sense. So I'm basically going two times uh, let me just write all this out first, and then I'll sub in my value for x. So the value for x here is 0.8x. So I'm substituting x with 0.8x. That's what I'm, what's happening here. And that one's cubed, don't forget. And working that out on my calculator, I'm getting 128 over 125x cubed minus 456 over 25 x squared plus 84 x plus my constant of 70. Um, and if you want to turn them to decimals, if you're working in decimals, that's the same as 1.024 x cubed minus 18.24 x squared 
plus 84x plus 17. The question said where a, b, and c, and d are elements of the real numbers. So decimals or fractions are fine.